All right, as promised, Mr. Warden here again with the full tour of the Arts and Crafts cabinet. Now, there's gonna be a very common refrain in this video, and that is, it's a little rough, and we know that. But I worked really hard on it, I learned a lot on it, and that's really ultimately what matters. But, that being said, this is the ultimate arts and crafts cabinet. It is the most ultimate because it contains the most things, a full assortment of arts and crafts paraphernalia and things in order to do projects, right? We begin with the colored pencils drawer. The colored pencils drawer contains a full range of Crayola normal colors here in the front and in the back, as many different colors as I could find. Over here on the right, we have a set of mechanical colored pencils. We have a uh, bunch of different sharpeners. And back there we have color, uh, woodless color sticks, which are colored pencil material, but without the wood part. All right, the pencils drawer is a little bit in disarray because I was just putting the finishing touches on it ahead of time. Uh, we have, a, f we have a, a bunch of normal everyday pencils for everyday use. We have all of our drawing pencils all the way up from 0.2 millimeters, uh, 9H, all the way up to 16B. Um, a set of charcoal sticks. These are additional leads for the colored pencils. Uh, for the mechanical colored pencils, we have some additional lead carpenter pencils. And we have our drafting tools. These are all of our templates and protractors and rules and squares and uh, compasses and circle drawers and rulers and everything. And back there we have what appears to be a set of freshly packaged pencils. These are all used up pencils that we've uh, recycled and gathered and we want to make sure we don't lose. This is actually a 0.3, I think 0.3, 0.3 pencil. Lots of good stuff in here for all your pencil needs. The markers drawer, very special. Now this one's a little bit incomplete because I'm still waiting on a full range of Crayolas, but alas, we still drawn. Full range of alcohol markers. We have oil-based markers back there. A couple of Crayolas, highlighters in the back. Everything we need. One of my favorites, they're all my favorites, but one of my favorites, the Sharpies drawer. Oh yes. Full range of uh, Sharpies in the normal chisel, uh, not chisel, but normal fine size. We have some chisel points hiding in here. We have a full set of all sorts of different metallics, metallic red, metallic blue hiding in there. We have some large format ones. We have oil-based white. Um, we have the chart paper sharpies that allow you to write on thin paper but does not bleed through we have some more metallics back there and we have a whole full range of fine sharpies as well ah uh, the pinch drawer what a special drawer this is oh my goodness look at that full range of gel pins sparkly and regular felt tipped pins still waiting on another set of that Normal ballpoint pens. We have fine liners. We have uh, micro pins, all sorts of different colors and all sorts of sizes of black. Every size you need. We've got a full set of fine liner pins. These are very thin. And then back there we have a full set of, not a full set, we have a bunch of normal everyday writing pens and my favorite pens. I really like this kind. I really like this kind. And I really like this kind. So I keep those at the front. Pastels and crayons. Full range of Crayolas. Basically every color they sell. Um, a set of pearlescent colors in the back. A set of confetti colors. A set of glitter colors. A set of metallic colors. And a set, and actually two boxes of Colors of Our World. The, uh, uh, the skin tone box. Two of those. We also have a uh, set of oil pastels here. I'm waiting on another set to fill in this space. But other than that, if you need crayons, I got them. All of these drawers are 
made using a quarter 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 system where you can see the jointing is meant to be kind of like a puzzle like i mentioned in the episode the joinery is not super great but i'm really proud of what i accomplished for my first time this is other this is kind of a catch-all for all sorts of different things we have some more drawing templates we have more circle drawing templates we have stencils for different shapes different letters different fonts different ribbons different holidays everything you need we got it pencil top erasers regular erasers polymer erasers kneaded erasers uh, high polymer erasers we have colored clothes pins white out past uh, palettes this is a wax seal kit bread ties more circle drawing templates french curves um, we have some little miscellaneous bits some charcoal sticks tweezers tea pins uh, back there we have a full range of tempera sticks which are paint sticks and you know if you saw our car episode our can of super 77 paper cutter back there that's the other drawer the action on the drawer slide is very nice i'm quite happy with it we have small paint this one's a little tight we have small paint we have a couple of different pieces here from two different sets of acrylic paints um, so we have a full rainbow of acrylic paints uh, airbrush paints some airbrush thinner and things like that and then some dick blick normal acrylics across from here we're looking to get some more of these i really want to get one of the big warhammer sets the 116 color sets from the warhammer range the army painter range back there we have a full set of uh, fabric paint i believe that's what this is this is castle brand fabric paint our first larger drawer for big paint there's not much in here we have our exterior black, some chalkboard pink, some white, and some white and black. Again, hoping to fill that up soon. We have here We have here the spray paint drawers. You can see we have a lot of room for expansion. Uh, the larger drawers don't necessarily have carpet in the bottom like the previous drawers do because it just didn't seem necessarily appropriate or necessary. Again, I organize things by the rainbow. You've got your reds, oranges, uh, yellows, greens, blues, purples, and all your white, black, metallics, browns, some gold back there, all that good stuff. And of course they get heavier as we go. We have the brushes drawer. This drawer is actually almost full. Uh, different sizes of foam, toothbrush, toothbrushes, acid brushes, normal regular paint brushes, more foam brushes, more paint brushes. This is a Mod Podge applicator brush. And I'm looking to get a few more uh, brushes for in here for really fine detail. Again, you need it, I got it. Resins relatively empty drawer. Uh, this is a silicon mold making compound called Umu. And you use this to make these of your own shapes. I've got a few pre-made ones here. This is for coasters. This is for some different jewelry shapes. And I got one that's a dragon. So you use the Umu to make this. And then the other thing up here is a smooth cast epoxy resin you mix this uh in equal parts and you eventually get a plastic form that you use the molds to make so for example you could cast a plastic dragon using this rubber mold a lot more things i need to get in that drawer including an alphabet and some other bits and pieces some other shapes maybe and uh, actually that company smooth cast makes a lot of different other products like different textured resins and things like that. That's really cool. This is the sculpting drawer. So you can see we have a set, uh, a range of polymer clays, right? 
all different colors. All of our sculpting tools, not really organized too much because uh, I still need to figure out how this drawer is gonna end up. But you've got all your basic sculpting tools, some sponges, some putty knives, things like that, very good. And of course, one of my favorite drawers at the bottom, the heaviest drawer. Ladies and gentlemen, the paper drawer. Very heavy, we've got lots of good stuff in here. Full set of construction paper, a roll of just white craft paper, all various blank engineering notebooks. These are all things that I would use to, um, you know, make design projects in. Graph paper, this is uh, some scrapbooking paper that did not fit in here, so I trimmed it a little bit. So different, all sorts of different patterns, scrapbooking paper. Larger paper, bulk paper. We've got some deckled paper. This is, um, it's meant to look like old paper for making things for people. Um, all sorts of different art media paper, index cards, post-it notes, uh, different notepads, things like that. All sorts of stuff I've gathered over the years. A lot of the stuff I didn't even buy, I just sort of have always had it. Uh, blank playing cards. And then I really like this. This is a hanging, there's two brass rods that go to either side and these are hanging folders for all sorts of paper that is normal eight and a half by 11 size. All your different colors. This is cardstock. Uh, this is some kind of, this is drawing paper. We've got newsprint. We've got uh, really tiny graph paper. That's 16 squares per inch. We've got uh, 12 squares per inch. We've got notebook paper. We've got isometric paper. We've got polar graph paper. We've got drawing paper, mixed media paper. We've got normal everyday computer paper. We've got stickers. We've got carbon transfer paper. This is sticker paper for making stickers. We have tracing paper. Tracing paper, that's tracing paper. Um, we have heat transferred thermal paper for making circuit boards. Um, more graph paper, 10 squares per inch, and all the way up to four squares per inch. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the arts and crafts cabinet, the most ultimate arts and crafts cabinet. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a lot of work. It was a lot of trouble. It was a big hassle. It was really kicking my butt, but uh, as you can see here, it is purple on the outside and it is lovely. Very awesome, very nice. Already dusty, just the way I like it. Uh, every, you know, the more I look at it, the more enamored I become with it. Its imperfections tell a story about its construction and the struggles that went along with that. Oh, yes. Oh, and I almost forgot the hanging square on the side here. In case one might need that. The, final, the maker's mark. Oh, yes. I hope everybody has a good day and I want to remind you to live a curious life.